midweek's a good sign. It means you're still alive. And it means I hate GeoGuessr for giving me this Australian guess. How's your week going? I'm actually recording these in subsequent, like, right after the one I did for Monday. So if any world-changing things have happened between Monday and Wednesday, you're not going to hear it. I mean, yeah, I know when the aliens landed and uh, gave us technology and the ability to turn lead into, I don't know, funk. No one believed. Go on brach. It's this is Ireland. Is that is that Gaelic? What is this road? Where are you taking me? Am I gonna die? Rough surface, huh? Be fun to drive on though. Anyway, I know I talked in the last video, and I know it's been a tired subject in the sense that I feel like I've talked about it a couple of times, where I just get annoyed at human bodies, and I say that things wouldn't be as much of an issue now. I said forward, thank you. If we were actually able to do things like control what our uh, bodies are like. I mean, <clears throat> we're still using genetics from a time when we didn't have things like electricity, the brains we have now, and we're still in like survival animalistic mode, I guess you could call it, where if we eat a lot of food, we need to store because we don't know when the next meal is going to come, and we just have to, like, if we just eat a lot, we get fat instead of just, like, getting rid of it, whereas, I have to click a place, so I'm just going to, we'll say you're here, whereas if we uh, did the smart thing and said, no, maybe we're going to eat a lot, just don't absorb that stuff, just dump it out of your body so we're not going to get fat, and then have problems like heart disease, obesity, diabetes. Uh, cirrhosis, even psoriasis, I'm going that far. And I'm not saying that we needed to have, like, conscious control, but enough to dial it back a bit, because it's, it's not as much of an issue as it was, what, 3,000 years ago? And then if you compare our brains to, like, even back then to now, there's a marked difference between the brain and the body as far as how things are uh, processed, developed. If this turns out not to be Australia and it turns out to be like Brazil, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to hit home and go the other way because I've got no confidence in my ability now on this one. We're going backwards through here, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see, be able to see anything. And it just seems weird that the body always lags behind the brain. And you think that, well... Why can't we just rewire the brain? Every time we try to short, make a shortcut of that shit, our body seems to be like, oh, you're going to try to cheat me out of how things were? Well, here's another form of cancer, you know. It seems to be fighting back in a way that seems detrimental to, like, the mutual benefits. There was a road. I saw that sign gotta be coming up here did i pass it i think i did all right although this doesn't help much let me go forward a bit i got 10 seconds i feel like that's australian enough in that blurred willabo road I'm gonna be so mad when it turns out no this is south africa no i got the country right great um Let's just see what this says. The price is. Oh, we got to turn. Alto Camiri. This is Brazil. Uh, let me go. For, thank you. Like, scientists need to. Precaution. Blah, blah, blah. This is South America. I just don't know where. It's a military something or other. I don't know if I believe it. Alto Puesto Militar Alto Camiri. What are the map colors? I mean, flag colors that match this. Nothing I can think of right now. 
All right, we move on. I think this truck is getting away from us, but I don't know if there was a time when we were actually able to pass it. Um, no, I said this. That is 297 kilometers. This is probably just going to say that Alto, you know, Kamiri. Not helpful. I don't know if we're ever going to get close enough to this truck where I'd be able to make out what this is. I don't see country anywhere on here. Like, this could be Colombia. Actually, Colombian flag. Here we go. Is this Colombia? Because those were, I think, the colors of that flag. So I'm just going to click here for now. And hope this is in Brazil where my score is going to be out. Jesus Christ, passed him. All right, sir, I need you to uh, tell me who you are. Nice little flower decals. You got a sword. It's a Scania. I'm not seeing anything telling me where we are. Thank you, truck. You're a big waste of time. I see a sign. Let's let's see where we is. Um, this is probably just saying. This is circle. It's an electric circle of grenade rinds. And it says Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Look up that song. My first introduction to a non-English language, I think, in a song. Either that or Telefonse. That stupid fucking French-speaking pineapple. It was so weird. Jamie Dunn. All right. Anyway. Yeah. I really do think that if we break that, I guess, I don't know, brain-body mutual barrier, mutualness, where we could just say, hey, body, listen to me. I'm the brain. I kind of control everything that happens here, consciously and subconsciously. That uh, if we... Uh, Dial back the amount of cholesterol we take in from this. We can uh, survive as we won't get like heart disease or cancer. And they're like, all right, that sounds good. We'll totally do that. Every time we uh, eat a donut, we'll take like 5% of donut and then the rest will just shit out. This felt like this should have said dot Columbia. I don't know. This is going to be Brazil and I'm going to be very mad, aren't I? Because that was green, blue, and red, and this wasn't. Um, I'm panicking now. This is going to be a bad score, right? I'm going to click here, and hopefully, yep, it was Bolivia. Thankfully, I clicked close enough. Finally, a non, a a a season I miss right now. That I wish was uh happening right now because again I love this season this is probably the number two season right after uh, fall okay I don't know where this is still I don't know if I'm going to see anything that'll help me tell where this is but I like winter way more than summer summer is the worst season I'm saying it right now fuck summer fuck humidity Give me this any day. But every time we think of some sort of thing to try to help the body out with our brain here, there's always seems to be an impasse or something. You know, we start doing like genetically, or not genetically, yeah, maybe genetically modify our bodies in some way. We end up developing this. This feels like Europe. This disease or something, like every time we try to think up a new innovation that alters the body to help it live longer, there's some sort of like unforeseen trap that comes from it in the sense that, um, okay, maybe we're coming up with oh, a, a really good, ironic, almost feels like it was purposeful. Um, example of this would be like Propecia. Fisk, huh? The Scandinavian, I believe. 
um, like Propecia was made for male pattern baldness. And I was like, okay, we'll, uh, we'll definitely fix your baldness, but when you're using this, you're impotent. It's like a side effect from it. And it just seems like if it wasn't blatantly like, um, what is the word? Per like on purpose? I can't think of that word. Then it just is a really funny side effect. And it just seems stuff like that, like there's always this catch with everything. Nothing is as easy or as good as it seems, not even in real life, and it's not fair. And again, nothing has to be blah, blah, blah. We've heard the story before. Um, well, this is the Bacon Hut in 500 meters, huh? I don't know what country this is. I'm hoping I've got it right with Norway because it says FJ and fjords. Fjords happened in Norway and literally nowhere else in the world. And you can't change my mind. We're sticking with Norway. Maybe like there. I'm just imagining what this feels like being outside and compared to what it feels like outside right now. I'm just like, I take this any day. Just walk down this road with a winter coat hat on, maybe a little cold in the face, but you're just like, this is nice. Whereas it's going outside right now, I'm just like, oh, let's turn on every sweat pour in my body. Hope you didn't like these clothes. I hope you didn't like that shower you took before you went outside, because none of it matters anymore. You're going to be a stinky, sweaty mess. And that's another thing that I think I've inherited as far as jeans go. It's an awful thing. Just, hey, you're going to wear socks. Guess what? You're going to sweat. Great. Why? I don't know. Our body's designed to sweat. How is this a gen like a potential genetic advancement? Just, oh, Jesus, I got lucky being very close to that. How is the ability to sweat more? I mean, I get the whole thing with, like, potential genetic um, mutations with different generations and you come across like beneficial things to the species just through randomness, but I still don't know how Milo, well, where's Otis? I don't know how the actual ability to sweat when things are on your feet would benefit the species at a, as a whole in any way, but what do I know? I'm just an idiot who sweats through his feet. This is a nice little crick here. And we're in America. I saw the American flag, but I saw Milo, and then it just made me think of Milo and Otis. And if you have seen that movie or don't know what I'm talking about, number one, see that movie. And then number two, look up the, uh, like, when how the movie was made and what happened to all the other Milo and Otises in that. Just think that as you were watching that, and that video gave you joy with its little British narrator that quite a few Milo and Otis's died making that movie. And it kind of bummed me out after I saw it, but I liked Milo and Otis. It was a good movie. It came out when I was a kid, and it was just, you know, this little pug and a kitten, I think. I f feel like I should find out what, what this is yet. This looks, this feels familiar. That's a willow tree. Look at me being an art. No, I'm going to go forward. Um, this is someplace, maybe in Northeast. Although I haven't seen any root signs that we're on right now. And I'm a little concerned. That feels like a New York plate. Hello, doggy. wonder why the dogs do that. Is it just so, like, they can have their nose out and smell the, uh, air and just be like, I'm smelling so many things. It's kind of like when we're just looking at stuff, is that I feel like this is going to tell me things. It didn't. Is that a root? I am in desperate need of figuring out what the hell this is, and I'm, I'm not finding anything, and it's frustrating me. Um, these are probably signs saying what type of corn it is. I thought it said LA Seeds. 
Come on. I'm on this road long enough, tell me a thing. I mean, I got American flags, but none of that helps me. Speed limit 45 doesn't help me. Um, usually when they sell, th hey, look, they're waving. Selling watermelons, cantaloupes. This does not seem the season for those. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. This may help me. I'm just back up. I got 50 seconds, and I'm I'm a bit. I'm a bit worried here. Doran, Feeton or Fenton, Taylor, Repeal, Look Twice, Save a Life, Time Safe Act. I don't. I don't know. None of this is helping me. Like, there's fall here. Why were they selling watermelons in the fall? Oh no. I got 20. Shit, I got 20 seconds. Well, I'm going to say Pennsylvania or just New York. I really don't know. I haven't seen any signs of, like, more specificity. That's a New York plate, so it is New York. I'm going to click here, like here maybe. Well, we are near Kuka Park. Thankfully, I saw that plate at the last second. And another goddamn dirt road. All right. I don't even remember where that dirt road was the first time. Oh, it was pretty... I think we were relatively close. I don't know why I'm going this way. I'm not going to find anything. Is this Australia again? I mean, I, why am I just driving backwards into dust here? Alpa Corral. There used to be a sign here. Zona. This isn't Brazil again, is it? Is this Brazil again? Oh no, the last place. No, that wasn't Bolivia. Where the fuck? I'm I'm drawing a blank here. Not surprising. Whoa, okay. Lost my orientation here. I'm hoping that just the light, everything got like washed out from the the dust everywhere and the bright sun shining down on the leaves just caused like this washout of color sometimes. Uh, come on, give me give me give me stuff. I just saw Zona and that's it. This is not Australia anymore. Okay, road. Thank you. All right. Alberto Toto doesn't help me. Um, let me click here. There's a signage here. All right. Turismo Rural. Um, I'm going to say Brazil again. And I've got no idea. Get me on the road. All right. Okay. These stripes in the road. What do these mean? I don't know. Um. Nope. Nothing helps me here. Flags? Nope. Just telephone poles and sheep. Those sheep have to be so hot right now. I know it's kind of hacky, but then you, but it, it it's still an interesting thing to say. Like, they look at a sheep and they're like, "I'm going to cut the stuff off it and then wear it." I mean, I'm sure there was more Buenos Aires, Argentina, huh? All right, we'll click here. Although I'm sure this is uh, like a multiple. Uh, what the fuck's the word? Like it, the that that real estate company probably has like multiple locations, and one is in Buenos Aires, and the other one is wherever the hell this is, Cordoba. There's Cordoba. It's the province of Cordoba. So I'm gonna click here. I'm going to say that Cordoba is in the province of Cordoba, <laughs> and uh, I'll say we're in Argentine. We're saying welcome. We're we're nearing a border of something. Well, bien, 
Vindo. Why are you blurring this out? Bienva Viaja Vijay. I don't know what that says. I ain't smart. I'm hoping I've got the right country just because I saw Cordoba and I saw Buenos Aires. This is a bit more arid. No, I did get it right. Nice. All right. Eh, Cordoba, great. Lucked out. Oh, shit. Except for getting this one wrong, we've got a consistent. We're like 100 points less than the Monday's guess, but that's your Wednesday for you. My stupid lip smacking. A lot of lucky guesses here. I think most of these were luck. Uh, except for the uh, United States one and the Argentina one. I think the rest were kind of lucky as guesses. And that sometimes happens. Actually, that happens a lot for me. But uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, give me suggestions for anything. I'm always here to listen. Uh, I do know in the next couple of weeks, just a heads up, there will be a, I don't know if I stop fidgeting with this rubber band, a good announcement, at least for me. It'll happen before, in, before the beginning of September. So just look at, actually, is this August 1st is going up? Maybe, but um, big announcement for me. It's nothing amazing kind of is to me but whatever you'll see it when it's ready it'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks and since i've said it out loud and on record i am now on the clock for doing it so pay attention to that soon i'd like to thank you all for watching again we will see you next time more geo guessing goodbye